Hey everyone, so today is Sunday just after church and I'm just here in a parking lot. Yes, I know sometimes I'm looking at a view, sometimes I'm looking I'm in a parking lot. <laughs> Alright, but the main thing is that I wanted to share this testimony with you which just reminds us of God's providence and the fact that we can trust him and he has every single detail of our lives all aligned and it's good. So, yesterday, a neighbor of mine, he, he looked at my car and he saw that something was wrong with the front tire on the driver's side and he said, hey, I think you have a slow leak. You need to get to the tire shop and check that out. However, I couldn't go yesterday because I was doing some, some things. It was quite hectic at home and I, they had to get them resolved. So, I said, all right. So, then I started, you know, feeling somewhat concerned as a single lady you know the car having issues so i said lord just help me to get to church and back tomorrow which is today so this morning i got up prayed before entering the car checked indeed the the front tire on the driver's side it's not okay all right so i got in the car <laughs> started it but throughout this morning and after i got in the car I drove out and was driving along to get onto the main road um, where I live I heard the Lord say that I heard him say your tire needs air your tire needs air I'm like Jesus I don't know where to go because now you know the gas stations are not so forthcoming with providing air anymore because persons steal the hose a whole lot of things so they only provided the gas that they pump and I just explained for those of you not Jamaican alright so then I I'm driving, I'm like, Lord, I don't have the pump that you have, that you'd use the cigarette lighter in your car and inflate your tires. I don't have that. So I'm driving along and this SUV is driving behind me and he seems impatient. So I kind of went over to the side and he overtook me a bit. So while he was overtaking me, he saw that on by the, the other side, or somehow, he saw that I had a flat tire towards the back so now my neighbor has had seen something that seemed like a slowly towards the front driver's side but the person who was driving behind me he picked up something like he was seeing like all the way flat on the passenger side back tire so he's driving by me and while he's driving by I said you have a flat tire you have a flat tire so I see him pull over at a gas station um, close to my home again they don't offer air um so then i pull over and he said hey would you like me to put some air in your tire and i'm like yes thank you so much isn't jesus amazing so he pulled over he plugged in his his pump into in, in my car and he inflated um the tires he inflated the back one and he showed me where there was indeed a tack in the tire it was leaking slowly he also inflated the the front one and the driver's side that my neighbor told me about and yes i was able and he said hey you need to get to the tire shop right away i was like it's sunday i don't know which tire shop is open now and he directed me to a tire shop that was open pretty much 20 well not 24 7, seven days a week so I went there just before church and I was able to get that tire patched at the back. Uh, they patched the tire, the back passenger tire, and they also um, inflated the front, um, the front driver side tire. So, and they put more, they put air in all the tires. I know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad. No, in Jamaica, we have to be so concerned about getting air in our tires, but that's the reality of life here. So I was able to drive and it was like night and day perfect. And then when I got to church and so forth, you know, we don't go into details. I saw where the Lord had aligned me just in time when I thought I was late for church. He had aligned me just in time to, to serve to his glory, right? So the whole thing of this testimony is just to encourage you that if you're going through seasons in your life right now and it seems like you can't understand why it makes no sense it's uncomfortable and you just want it to be over just remember that seasons are seasonal they will change 
as per Pastor Felix Fouquier de Jewel. Yes, feelings are not feelings, Caesar's are um, Caesar. Feelings are temporary too, right? But the good news is that every single area of your life, every single experience that you're having, God is going to use it for his glory and it's going to be for your good. You may not figure out right now or even while we're here on earth just why you had to go through particular painful experiences, troubling experiences, annoying experiences, the negative experiences. But just know that you just need to rely fully on Jesus Christ, put your entire trust and confidence in him. And when you don't know and you're having uncertainties, just lay all of those burdens on him. He can more than handle it. And the wonderful thing is when we ask the Lord for wisdom, he is going to give us. As long as we ask, um, not having a wavering mind, wondering what, whether or not he's going to answer us, but we ask in full confidence that we know that our Heavenly Father will respond and he will, of course, give us his wisdom, his insights. And if there's something that we're lacking, guess what? He is the God, he's Jehovah Jireh. As you can see from the testimony, he provides and he provides right on time. And back again to a previous message that the Lord had given me about us having this period of millimeter perfect provision and millimeter perfect protection. All right. So God bless and have an amazing, wonderful, productive week ahead. Bye. God bless.